All right, guys, today we are putting a propane conversion kit, propane natural gas conversion kit on a Honda EU3000IS. Uh, I did started doing this yesterday and I was doing a video, but I don't know how to do, you know, make multiple videos into one video yet. Still kind of new at this whole game, but uh, I'm gonna backtrack on it and do one video so that you know what's going on. Um, yesterday a lineman uh, in front of my shop had gotten hit by the power line and uh, he's in really rough shape today may may not make it even um, I did a video of their his rescue that's on my channel but it stopped me in the middle of this all right so first things first is we're gonna take off the air filter assembly well we're gonna open this up we're gonna take off the air filter assembly you know the air filter air filter cover and then there's uh, this cover is on top of the carburetor. You're going to take it's uh, three tens, a ten millimeter, a ten millimeter, and a ten millimeter here, here, and here that come off. And you're going to remove this. You're going to take these sleeves out of this. They go in there. Need them out of there. Now there's two extensions that are in the kit. On, at least in this kit that you screw on to the studs um, I got it down as close as I could and then with vice grips tighten them all the way all right then you have to drill a hole in the bottom there's a plastic clip that goes inside of it it's, it's clicked in there now but I used uh, this drill bit and I, it gets it almost this size but then once you get it in there you gotta waller it out but slowly so you can get that clip to fit in you just keep doing this until it gets to where it'll fit in and then you pop this plastic clip in that just keeps the uh the uh the hose from getting frayed and popping a hole in it all right then you're going to take this hose and, and uh you're going to oh actually first you got to put the nipple screw the nipple into this piece there's a nipple and then you put this hose onto the nipple and clamp it down nice and tight. It says fuel flow that way. So you want this pointing towards the carburetor. So now we're back to where we're gonna where where we are. Now we're back to the same spot here. So we're gonna take the hose end and we're gonna shove it through this hole right here from the inside out. You get this gasket on there, it comes in the kit, and then you're going to get this to fit on and it's tight and snug but it does go on there make sure it stays out of the way let's get it all the way on there boom there it is all right now you got that you've got this the next step very simple you're going to put this cover on, but you need a spacer to go behind this and a longer bolt now. Come in the box. First, put on this gasket on here. All right. Then we're going to put the spacer and bolt in this bottom here. It's going to be a tight fit. When you took that air filter out, it was hitting this, trying to get it out of there anyways. Now it's this much closer to this. It's really going to be tight in there. There was a better kit on Amazon than this. This customer bought for me. I will put the in the description the better kit that is a lot easier than this. Takes up a lot less space here and everything. Uh, I've done another one. It was it was much easier. But we're doing this one, so I'm showing you this one right now. So spacer on the back, bolt in it. And then we're going to work our way down in here. Put the air filter in. Get this tube on. It's going to be a stretch, but it will go on. All right. And then we're going to have to force this thing in here. Um, it goes the wide side out. You're going to have to force it in. It's going to take two hands does go in albeit hard as heck all right so now we're done with all the stuff on the inside we're going to take a flat screwdriver and go ahead and oh look at that hopefully that closes what we got going on here is 
this is hitting the air filter assembly. So I'm hoping that as I turn it, and it gets out of that. Yeah, there it goes. There it is. And then you can tighten it down, I guess. Yeah. And it tightened down. Just gotta slowly turn it and push it at the same time, and it does close. Pain in the butt. All right, now we're on to the next thing. Um, it's gonna be mounting this guy. I'm gonna take these feet off, 10 millimeter. Get them broken free, get them off. Um, it doesn't show it in the instructions. But these little nubs have to be ground off. I did the uh, EU 2000 yesterday, and it's the same kind of setup. And he had to grind it off, and it showed that in the instructions. So grind them off just like that. The original bolts will be too short, so they come with longer bolts. We're going to take basically this plate here, it's going to mount here like this, and the feet bolted into it. Just like that. Uh, I slid this all the way up to try to get this because this is going to be big right here. Just to make sure it's out of the doorways way. Okay, so we're going to take this piece here and screw it into the top. This is an adjustment to let the fuel mix, you know, the, the gas in more or less. So it's an adjustment. And this is a nipple that hooks up to this line. All right, so we're going to screw this in. Um, good and tight. This is going to go on like this. So we're going to want this nipple, I believe, to face this way if possible. But it's got to be tight. So if it's facing this way, it's whatever. All right. So then I put it up here. Um, tighten these down. It's 11 millimeter or 7 sixteenths. Um, I'm pushing these all the way to this side as far over as it'll go. Just to give you plenty of room for the door again. Um, this is tightened in tight. This is going to have to get around this side and stab down there with a clamp. Now we're going to take this bottom nut right here off. We got a clamp that we put on our hose and we're going to bolt it down to that. Then we put in this piece here, screw the line onto it, tighten it down. And the other side, screw the regulator down and tie it all off to the handle for storage. Right, guys that's pretty much it that's the setup um, I there is a valve that you put on here that you can put on here as well um, it's this guy right here uh, the only problem that I have with that is that all right so you're gonna have this nipple on this side there's another nipple that connects it here so this is gonna be all the way out here and if you bang into this even if you kick it wrong this is aluminum it'll snap it right out and then you know there's a chunk of money big chunk of money that you gotta freaking you gotta replace that part so I mean the the propane tanks have a valve on them turn it off I would, if, if this was like a, a smaller one that was like in line I think that would be much better I'm sure you could probably find one with barbed ends or even get barbed ends to fit on it where you can clamp it down in line to be able to shut off. I think that would be much, much better than that. It's just, I don't, the more you stick out, the more leverage that you have on it and that aluminum will snap. It's, you know, very easy. Um, all right, guys, if this helped you in any way, shape or form, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll put a kit inside the description that would probably be a little bit easier for you to use um, I had better luck with it myself I was not too impressed with these kits you know um, today's t-shirt will also be in the description below if you want me to wear some of your business shirts mail me one I'll be more than happy to wear it for you